Good morning. <clears throat> it's Sunday morning, and here I am with a Sunday thought. One of the things that came up to me this week was how often I had been presented with different opportunities, and some I had taken, and some I hadn't. And very often, the ones that I had taken, I didn't really think about. I just said yes. And those that I did think about often said no. So what is that about? Because we really do have a whole element of freedom <coughs> with, uh, just a second, it's early in the morning for me, so I haven't done too much talking, even though I do some vocal exercises before I begin these to try and clear this throat in the mornings. Um, but we are free to actually exercise a lot of discretion in our lives <clears throat> to go various different ways. Do we, do we take an opportunity? Do we say no to an opportunity? What exactly do we do? I have many, as I said, I've had many instances in my life when I have had opportunities come up. And very often when I look back now, it was my fear of what might be and how was I going to handle it or things like that, that I pulled away and didn't do them. I don't regret that because I've had a very interesting life regardless. And I've had other opportunities which just were sprung on me like that. And it was like, okay, let's go and see how this works out. And often a very profitable long years of doing certain things. Opportunities come in many different ways. Opportunities can come through someone just making you a suggestion and you follow up on it. You perceive, you go and look and see where it all goes and how it's going to be. But really, in a large way, a life often is sort of an open slate, an open book. It's what we write. You're writing your story. What is the story of your life? When I look back now, when I was young, perhaps the biggest one was when I came to Canada um, to marry my uh, then, which became my husband for a lot of years. And, uh, but I was in love. And so love takes over everything and you just kind of go along with it. And I have not regretted that movement. Sometimes I miss my big, large family back in New Zealand. And I have visited a lot over the years, not so much the last few <clears throat> as I have become old, we've all become older and many of us have departed. But opportunities are all around us if we wish to take them. What we need to perhaps look at is how come we don't? And the ones we didn't, what was behind that? A lot of, for me, in my early years was a lot about fear, fear of me being rejected or not being good. And I, had, I ran a program of not being good enough, which is one reason I got into transformation work because I had to clean up some stuff, that's for sure. And it took a very different path. Uh, past life regressions helped me tremendously. Um, that was one of the steps that went through. And uh, interestingly enough, I was able to have two ladies come and visit me the other day. And uh, we did a couple of past life regressions with them, like a little mini, mini workshop. It was really good to get back into that. I haven't done that for quite a while with everything all since the lock, actually since the lockdowns happened and I and everything was restricted and I had to sort of shut down everything the way I did everything anyway. So it always felt good to get back into workshop mode because uh, anyway, that's, you know, it happened to a lot of us when things shut down and we had to kind of figure out what we were going to do. And so I've done a few things on Zoom and, and a workshop formula, but it was good to have a person, real live people to, to work with and to also see what they brought up. And it, it just reminds you that how many lives we've actually had and how many experience we've had throughout time for someone like me who can remember back um, and has experienced back being, you know, just sort of like um, wandering tribe, little tribes. And, 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 and I've seen a lot of other people who I've regressed have those kinds of lives as well, as well. Now that was freedom, but you were in fear all the time in some ways, not, not like you lived all tensed up, but there was always like animals, 
uh, maybe another group you might run into. Um, yeah, so the fear factor has is very much a part of our, I think, inside of us that has come from pure survival. If you read history, and I was a history buff and still do like history, I find a lot of, we, I, let me slow down for a minute. One of the things I've discovered is that we follow patterns, our belief systems it reflect into our lives. And we have patterns that we follow and that we do and create and be. And um, we, we do lifetime after lifetime, very similar patterns. And it's like when we take a look and we go back in time, <clears throat> experience and very often fear is very much a part of that. It's like what's going to happen, what's going to do place is uh, always a bigger guy on the block kind of thing. Um, and people fought. If you read history, there were a lot of, a lot of fighting in, in, and with very little periods of what you would call peacefulness. <sighs> how to have peacefulness and and even in our own lives right now i mean it's nice when everything is peaceful and you just know that everything moves along gently and easily in your own pace and your own awareness and where you are so just to go back onto topic here opportunity opportunity knocks at any time in your life usually unexpected something comes in out of their field and then you have a decision to make do you do this or do you not do this? And it very often, if you do this, it's about leaving another element of your life behind. Relationships are big like that, man. I, I've seen that over and over and over where you've been in a relationship or something else comes along and you have to make a decision and, and decide which way you're going to go. And you have to leave behind the old life if you make a decision one way or another. It is an incredibly, um, in, sometimes a very hard decision to make for various reasons. But it's like we do have the freedom to make those decisions at this point in time. And we have for a long time, very often, many of us have lived in time periods where we didn't have a lot of room to make decisions. But what one decision we always have, what kind of mood do you want to be in? When you wake up in the morning, what do you choose? Are you choosing to be happy? Are you choosing to recognize there is a force in the universe that supports you? Are you choosing to go and create a day which suits you? Or do you feel like you're dragging? <clears throat> Are you feel like you're depressed or unsure or maybe even unworthy of having anything any different? Like I have to now have a drink of water. <clears throat> you see, <clears throat> I slept in this morning. And when I sleep in, my routine changes because <laughs> I'm behind the eight ball, you might say. Mind you, I needed to sleep in because I had some difficulty going to sleep last night. Um, but it's that, that's okay. That, that happens. And I knew I probably would, but I also know what timeline I have when I do do that. Because we have a freedom to choose. I had a freedom to be able to decide what I was going to do the moment I woke up. And so very often because of this um, dry mouth that I experienced and in, that fixed my throat, <coughs> I have time to clear that. But because I'm time oriented, not everybody is, I am, <coughs> I have, um, excuse me. I have a great respect, you might say, for time. And I had to have it over the years. People make appointments for a certain time and you need to show up. You need to be responsible for that. People, things start at a certain time and end at a certain time. I, Because I have been so busy in certain time periods of my life, things were cut down into certain time elements. In fact, often, and I have written about this in one of my books, that People would say to me, how did come you achieve so much in one day? And I had to think about that. I had to really think deeply about that. How come I did that? And what I discovered was that I broke my time, my day into time lots. So I would do this from one time to another. And then 
I would do that for another time block. And then I would do another thing. And I would leave when it, the time was there. I would leave it, whatever it was, even if it wasn't completed. And that was how I was able to achieve running, raising a family, running a business, having, uh, uh, having several businesses, actually. Because of time. I made time my friend. It wasn't an opposition. It wasn't. Uh, now I have lots of time. So it's, it's, it's a very different thing because of different stages of your life. So it feels like I have a lot of time, but it's also usually utilized up into its little slots. My appointment book is my <laughs> daily. I look at it. What have I got down for today? But I have a lot more downtime for sure. But it's like knowing that we have a freedom to choose, having a freedom to decide what is it we want to do? How do we want to spend our time? I have a saying that says time is my friend because I found even though they say the clock goes around and that's the time, you can stretch time. It can be short. I tell you, if you're ever in a car accident, you'll find that time can either compress really short or it can go very long. And I have spoken about it once when I was one time when my I was racing to catch a ferry. Not always good to try and beat time, actually. But anyway, it's like racing for a ferry, put the brake on, and it had been raining on a wooden wharf that was leading down to this little ferry, and I skidded. And no kidding, time slowed down. That I knew it was like I was in slow motion. While this cut my car skidded in, and yes, it did. I missed the ferry, but I caught, but I was first in line for the next one. And the car was, yeah, had a little bit of damage, but nothing really bad. But it was very interesting to even notice how time slowed down. It was the only time I can say I really, really experienced that, where everything was in slow motion and just slowed. But it made me aware that time is can be, can I use the word manipulate? can be stretched, but we have, I, I really want to talk about the sense of freedom today that we have to choose. And then when opportunities come to us, we get to choose. Do we want to take that opportunity or do we not? And often that stops us is fear. Fear of not being good enough, fear of not doing it right. Fear of people will laugh or make fun of us. A lot of fear stuff comes up. As we clear our fears, it's much more easier then to analyze, do I really, and go inside, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to embra embrace and go on this journey that of where it's going to lead? Because we don't know at any given time what one thing or another leads. You make mistakes. You take a wrong turn. When I say wrong, when you look back, you go, what did, what did I do that for? Why didn't I stay more aware of what was happening? Because even though some of us can look into the future, we don't really know the future in some respects. Because there's always other things happening from the side that come in and change things. I do know, though, even then, we have a freedom. We have a mind. We have an instinct that we can decide the direction that we want to go. And sometimes that means leaving the past behind and moving out into the unknown. Okay, we're not on the moon making steps on the moon, but we're making steps in our lives because all of us want to be happy. This is what I think anyway. All of us want to be happy. All of us want to achieve. All of us want to feel that we're good enough. And there's many ways of achieving that. Anyway, that's my Sunday thought today, and now I can go back and have some breakfast and get on with my day, and I trust that you will move with your day, with love, with light, with ease, with grace, and then it will, I've got tarot cards here that help me stay on point, and also little abundance cards, too. First one I drew, I'll show you this, first one I drew today was absolute. hang on, it's got a little angel on it, was absolutely blank. And I went, oh, that's interesting. And then I got freedom. Because we still, to a large degree, have freedom to make decisions. Our future is ours. And yes, it kind of goes along. But you never know where that unexpected opportunity is going to come up. And you have to make a decision. Do you want it or do you not? Search inside and trust your heart. Trust your heart, not always the mind.
mind will, mind will figure out why you perhaps shouldn't be doing it, but your heart will tell you, yes, I can do this. Those have been the big decisions I've made in my life. have been when I followed my heart. And the decisions that I followed my head hasn't always worked. Anyway, you have a great Sunday. I'll be back tomorrow night with mental mind treatments. And again on Wednesday with Norman Talks. Have a great day.